Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of Presidential Elections. Today we're talking about the election of 1892. Hold on a second, I'm gonna, uh, assist the one. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna turn that off because I'm kind of sitting right in front of it and it's kind of difficult to speak with it blowing in my face. Um... So yeah, 1892, uh, it took place on November 8th of 1892. We have three candidates for this one. You have uh, a former president, Grover Cleveland of New York, who was a Democrat. He got 277 electoral votes. 5,556,918 at the popular vote. And his running mate is Ooh, Adelaide Stevenson the first. Yeah, you have to add the first. Your second candidate is your current president, Benjamin Harrison of Indiana, who was also the first president to get their voice recorded. So, you know, we know what he sounds like. Um, let's see here. Uh, he got 145 electoral votes. He's a Republican. He got 5,176,108 of the popular vote. And his running mate was Whitelaw Reed, spelled R-E-I-D. Yeah. And your third and final candidate is James Weaver of Iowa. He was a populist. Yeah, there's a party called Populist. What are their what is their ideology? I don't know. I just report, so look it up yourselves, I guess. Or wait until the day I cover all political parties. Yeah. Anyways, he got 22 electoral votes. He got 1,041,028 of the popular vote. And his running mate is James Field. Alright, so how many votes were needed and how many were there in total? Well, you needed 223 to win. And you, there were a total of 444. <clears throat> So, Cleveland pretty much got his job back from the man that took his job before. Uh, your overall turnout is 74.7%, which it went down 4.6%. And now we come to the part of the video of... How did Ohio vote this time? Did Ohio pick the winner? Well, the vast majority of the electors here in Ohio did not vote for the winner, but one faithless elector did vote for the winner. So, I'm sorry, but... We're going by the vast majority of the electoral votes for Ohio, which at this point there were 23, which I think was this is the largest it's ever been in our history. Ohio does not vote for the winner, even though there was one that voted for Cleveland. The rest voted for Harrison. So, yeah, there's that. Alright, thank you all so much for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow when we wrap up the series for the week, and we'll talk about the election of 1896. Stay cool, stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, click on the circle to your right.
If you would like to see the last series on this channel, click the square on your left. The last series done on this channel was the census. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fantastic day.